And that's when the king realized that this evil wizard wasn't going to just go away so easily. Leave us be, you wizard! My name is Barnabas, your highness. Thou shall not freeze the crown! But alas, the wizard froze the king, and with it, he froze the king's crown. The end. The end? That's all we get? Unfortunately, that's where the book ends. How does the king get unfrozen? The crown has the power to heal a nation. I'm glad you all liked the book so much, but the crown remains frozen and the kingdom is no more. <gasps> you can't just drop them on us like that. How come nobody helped him? He did so much for everyone else. You'll have to ask the writer yourself. Great, then we want to speak to the writer. Yeah! I'm sorry, why am I here again? I'm just a kid's book writer. My students would like to know why you ended the king's frozen crown the way you did. I mean, come on, man. That ending was weak. I'm sorry, weak? You got us invested and then let us down. Look, my publisher gave me two weeks to write the whole thing. Seems like enough time to me. Yeah, one time I wrote a really long letter to my mom in like 26 minutes. Good for you. We're just asking that you change it so it's more enjoyable. Maybe a more lighthearted ending? So what would you guys suggest? Well... Leave us alone, you wizard! Oh, easy, King. I just wanted to have a dance party. Did you say... dance party? The king and wizard danced? Okay, and the crown remained unfrozen. The end. Better? Better! Yes, I'd like to speak to my agent. Hi, Saul. I don't want to write kids' novels anymore. <laughs>